confetti club it is pixie and it is way 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 past time that i get this room sorted out this is going to be possibly my final wall painting video i have another wall to paint but it's just going to be plain yellow in the kitchen um so this is my final fun accent wall my office slash studio is the only room in the house that is just absolutely not unpacked it's not a room like it is not functional i have been living like this for a month now there's still boxes the only thing plugged in is my sewing machine which i was going to use for a curtain diy video which as you can see never happened this room is currently problematic so as you can see i have painted the walls lavender and i've painted this one accent wall pure white which did take three coats and is a lot more work than i anticipated but i'm gonna put even more unanticipated work into it i guess that doesn't make sense because i am anticipating that it's going to be more work than i anticipated i'm about to tape a wall for probably like 45 minutes <laughs> if you guys saw my previous uh red pink valentine candy stripe wall painting whatever video I'm gonna be doing pretty much that same technique, but I'm doing a whole different design. Instead of pink and red, I'm doing uh, rainbow, and instead of the varying widths of lines, they're all gonna be little pinstripes with just a little bit more white in between each one. I'm super excited, oh my god, when I finally paint this wall, that means I can take the tarp off the floor, that means I can actually put the couch against the wall, I can actually build my Ikea cutting table that I bought in like February for this room, that's in this closet, that is a disaster, this closet is full of the rest of the stuff that's gonna be in this room when this room is a room and not just a couch with like a hammer on it and my cat's litter box and like paint on the tarp on on the floor. So yes, this is going to be a fun transformation paint with me DIY goddess time lapse type video. Hope you enjoy. And I guess I'm just gonna start taping my friggin' life away. The last video I did, I definitely did more of a vlog style than a tutorial, but I want to make this one more of a tutorial, but a fun tutorial with cats. For this project, you are going to need a pencil of some sort for marking walls. You can use a ruler, a yardstick, or a tape measure like this one. Yoink, yoink. I like to have a screwdriver for taking off light plates and that sort of thing. And also this one comes in handy for opening paint cans. And I like to have a hammer also for hammering the paint cans back down, but it's better to have a mallet for that. Nina, do not hammer. Oh! And depending on your design, you're gonna need lots and lots, or perhaps less than lots, of painter's tape. I have two rolls left over here, and I think that's gonna be enough. Pro tip, I find that the green version has been a lot better than the blue version. It doesn't stick sometimes. Hi, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh my god. If you're short like me, or I guess if you're, I guess, shorter than seven feet tall, um, you're gonna need a ladder or a step stool of some sort, and of course, your paint of choice and paint dishes and paint rolly rollers. So these are all colors that I have used previously in my house. Each of these is in the rainbow downstairs. And then of course this is the rest of the walls in here. This is my kitchen and this, this is a lot of places. I have like extremely varying amounts of each of course cause like the pink was a whole room and then a whole wall in the living room. The green was literally just that one stripe. I could have gotten a quart of green. I don't, I, you know, that was an oversight. But um, since I'm just doing thin pinstripes, I think I'm gonna be okay. Hello, this is a very high angle. It's also really handy to have a level as well. This level also has a ruler on the side of it. I believe it's a meter, so that can be handy, but it's not super required. But if you don't trust yourself and you want your lines to be straight as hell, then go for it. So the first big decision you have to make is how wide you want your lines to be. And I have not done this yet, so let's do it together. I feel like two inches per stripe is good. One, two, three, four inches in between. And actually what I did when I did my pink and red wall, which is a little bit more complicated of a design from this one, just with the varying um, widths, I actually took my ratio that I had in my head and I did it on paper, but in millimeters or centimeters to kind of see how it would look. But I feel like the two, four is a good ratio for me. And then it is super simple. You're just gonna go from the bottom 
decide where you're gonna start. It's kind of tricky because this molding sticks out a little. I'm gonna go four inches from the wall, mark it a little bit with a pencil, and then I'm gonna mark two inches from there, so then four, and then two. Then one, two, three, four, and then two. That's not too bad. Okay, get an eraser if you're a dumbass like me. So I think that looks pretty well like what I want, so I'm going to get up on the ladder and do the exact same thing on the ceiling. So four, two, one, two, three, four, two. And that's covered up by a price tag. We love that. And then we tape. I like to mark with pencil a little bit and then tape it and then mark and then tape it just in case you mark it all with pencil and you mess up. It's kind of not that easy to realize if you make a mistake because they're just little tiny pencil marks. Whereas if you mess up with the tape, it's very noticeable. So you just connect the dots and you can use a level in between if you want to make sure. You can also put dots in the middle of the wall to make sure. Oh, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> And we're gonna cover up all the window light with our body and do that! Ta da! Okay, I was so determined to film me taping this entire wall that I came back three separate days and put on the same dress to try to make it look like it was one day and I had to go out and buy more tape. But uh, I guess this is an entire roll of painter's tape and uh, she's not done. So I'm gonna run out and grab that last bit and then we're just gonna cut to me painting. I'm sorry. Okay, for these last few, I decided to like cut it up and do just as far as I could on the ladder and do half of it and then get off the ladder and do it from there down. It is a little tricky lining them up. Like that's why I didn't think to do it before because I was like, oh, but there's more opportunity to like leak the paint in between or something. But honestly, I think it went faster. So if you want to do this, maybe try both ways and see what you like. Alright, here is the whole wall painted with the tape still on. That was super fun. I am so excited about how it looks and it will be super cool to see it, of course, without the tape. I think this section with the lime green tape actually looks kind of cool. Like, I almost wish there were lime green stripes or like some certain color stripe around them, but that would take friggin' forever, so I'm happy with this. Now it is time for by far the most satisfying part, which is taking all of the tape off and seeing the finished result.
my couch is here and my wall is very cute. Um, this is where I'm hoping to have my main filming place. This hopefully should be my main like sit down film area. Um, I do like filming on my couch downstairs, but that's like kind of what this room was for that and sewing and surging and stuff and filming. So I'm so happy with it. I think it is super de duper de cute. Um, that was an insane amount of time and sweat and effort. I would definitely recommend uh, hiring a friend if you have one, um, just cause going up and down the ladder this many teeny tiny times, so it's like twice for each one. It's a lot, but hey, it's worth it. This is her favorite couch to hang out on. I'm sorry, ma'am. Wow, she's a twisty girl today. Yeah, let me know um, in the comments below what is your favorite wall in my house. Um, this, I think, might be my new favorite wall. I do like my bedroom, and I do like the rainbow accent wall downstairs, but like, this just... This is exactly how I imagined it, and I'm really, really happy with it, and I think it looks really nice with the purple too, so yay! This video's Peach Confetti Club member is Akio Bambi on Instagram. You are so cute! Uh, rocking this amazing yellow X pink Luke, which I also have been enjoying if you saw the outfit I wore to tape the wall. Yellow and pink, pink lemonade, let's go team. Looking so, so cute in the go get em sweetheart tee. You look like just the happiest little sunshine in the world. Are those gummy bears or gummy keys on your necklace? Those are freaking cool. You have the, the white fishnet tights that are super cool. Hey, I have those irregular choice earrings, I think. Is that what they are? I can't see, but you're cute as hell. Thank you so much for your support. You are rocking it and I love you. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one because this one is over and I am gonna be in London in a couple of days. I'm not sure if you caught that, but um, I am going on a trip to London, UK sponsored by EA. So um, I will have some London vlogs. I'm meeting some internet friends I've had for years that I've never met in person. Um, so my upload schedule might be a little wonky as it already has been you guys know i missed last saturday i'm very sorry um but i have a lot of stuff planned i just need the time to do it so i love you so so much and i will see you in the next video which is not this one because this one's over and my phone's on the floor bye